Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Brie and today we're doing your January love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at how you both are thinking and feeling about each other. And then in the extended, we're going to look kind of more at what's to come, what steps you need to take. So let's go ahead and get started here. As always, please do consider subscribing before you go for more videos. And also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it is not intended to resonate with everyone. So check your sun, moon, and rising. But remember, guys, that a private reading is always going to be the most accurate for you. So I will leave my website down below if you are interested in getting a reading done with me. So most important messages for Aquarius. All right, guys, so your overall energy, we have the temperance card. Some you, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. How you are thinking about them, we have the king of coins. How you are feeling, we have the two of coins. How you feel about the connection, we have the three of coins. And your challenge for January is the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Now, their overall energy, we have the nine of wands. How they are thinking about you, we have the Six of Cups. How they feel about you, we have the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. How they feel about the connection, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And their challenge for January is the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But I feel like right now you guys are in... You're in a transformation cycle right now. You know, everything is kind of recalculating. Everything's getting rebalanced out. The way that you guys are going about things are going to be different. Six of coins underneath this. The give and take within the connection is going to be different. Either you're going to be changing how much you're giving or how much you're taking. Vice versa, that person's going to be changing how much they're giving and how much they're taking okay we have the magician underneath this and I feel like by this point you guys both understand that these are changes that you have to make yourselves like these are things that you guys have to do like if you want to manifest something within this connection you have to do something different and I think that's kind of where you guys are both at right now and that's what's like the underlying fire for this death transformation rebirth process is that you understand if we want something to be different this year, we have to do something different. So for you, we have the temperance card. So you're going through a healing phase, a healing cycle. You know, a lot of things for you have likely changed from last year. You probably have a different mindset going into this year and you're having to kind of, you know, internally reconcile with everything that's gone on and, and like put the pieces back together on the inside and, you know, to come out that other side renewed to, you know, have that uh, full circle moment. For them, they have the nine of wands in their overall. So they are still working. Like likely they were you know, working very hard in 2018, that work has not stopped in 2019. They are continually, or con they are continuing that work that they were doing last year. You know, right now they may be tired, they may want a break, but I feel like for some reason they have to keep going and we'll talk about that with the strength card here. So this could be them having to keep going, like they may be working on something, trying to put something into action in their life, and they just have to keep going. They have to keep having the drive and determination to do it. Or this is something internally that they're still working on, that there's still work to be done on. But for you with the temperance card, I feel like, you know, you really are focusing on the internal. Now for them, how they are thinking about you, we have the six of cups. So I feel like I really feel like this person is working quite hard on something and 
when they're working on that thing, they're thinking about the past with you. Like they're thinking about how things went with you and the way things used to be and, and the way they used to feel about you, the old memories, you know, just like feelings of nostalgia. And then we have the strength card here. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this person has something like really big that they're working on, but they have to have the faith to keep going on whatever it is they're working on. Like they have, they're trying to understand like, okay, all of my hard work is eventually going to pay off. And I feel like with the six of cups here, you're part of that payoff as well. For you, how you think about them, we have the king of coins. So for some of you, like I said, this person may be really focused on work and you see them as someone who is, you know, like very stable and someone who works very diligently and very slowly and very methodically to get what they want. Like that could be why you're taking this like temperance approach. Like let me just kind of heal myself, work on myself because you know this person is busy. You have the two of coins and how you feel about them. So, you know, like I was talking about, I feel like there's just, there's like a rebalancing or recalculating that is going on here. And like I talked about with the six of coins there, I feel like the give and take is different here. Kind of what you are going to give and what you expect is going to be different here because I feel like this person may have something going on that's preventing them from giving what they used to give. Vice versa, you may have something on your end that's going on that you're not able to give as much as you used to give. So there's just like this rebalancing here. For you, how you feel about the connection, we have the three of coins. So, you know, you do, I feel like you're thinking long term here. With this king of coins especially, you're thinking long term here. You're thinking about the future. What's going to be the future um, trajectory here? Like what are going to be the long term gains, the long term effects? Especially if this person's working on something very important. Something that's going to provide stability for the two of you in the long run. That's kind of what you're thinking about. And then you have the chariot in your challenge. So... I feel like you you want to push forward, Aquarius, but that might not be the best action to take right now, especially that you're kind of doing your healing work. You're going through a transformative process here. I feel like your mind is starting to shift and go, okay, what are the best actions for me to take right now? And we're going to clarify that in the extended how to go forward. For them, how they feel about the, the about the connection, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So they're just kind of leaving everything up to fate, up to the universe, up to divine timing. Like they understand that this is really all out of their control right now. I just feel like there's something that's taking priority, something that's taking precedence. And as far as this connection is goes, like I feel like the, the most they can put into it right now is like, Let's see what happens. I just kind of feel like that's where they are at. Their challenge is the Ten of Cups. So for them, it's about, you know, staying optimistic and staying positive. Whatever the situation is here, this like Nine of Wands strength situation, it may not be something that they necessarily want to do, but it's something that they think is going to be very beneficial in the future. So that may be taking away from their short term happiness, but it may provide them with long term happiness. So in the extended, we're going to see how this all pans out, like what to do in this cycle. We're going to pull some clarifiers, we're going to pull some oracle cards. So if this message has been resonating with you, then I invite you to join me in the extended. The link for that is going to be down below. If you'd like to work with me in a private session, then you can visit me at my booking page, which is freerising.com slash book me. And that link will also be down below. If not, thank you guys so much for joining me. I wish you guys the 
best of luck in the month of January, and I will see you guys very soon.